hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the reactions for a statically indeterminate actually loaded bar i have been given a question which states that the a36 steel pipe in figure below has an outer radius of 22 mm and inner radius of 17 mm if it fits snugly between the fixed walls before it is loaded we have to determine the reaction at wall a and c when it is subjected to the load shown you can see the steel pipe which is fixed at a and c and two eight kilo newton forces these are applied at b okay the portion ab has a length of 300 mm and portion bc has a length of 700 mm we have to find the reactions uh, that is fixed reactions at wall a and c first let us see what we have been given in the question outer diameter this is 22 mm and 0 or 0 0.022 meter in a diameter is 17 mm or 0 0.017 meter cross sectional area this will be uh, pi into square of outer diameter minus square of inner diameter divided by 4 which is equal to pi into 0 0.022 square minus 0 0.017 square divided by 4 which is equal to 1.532 into 10 is power minus 4 meter square modulus of elasticity for a36 steel this is 200 gigapascal or you can write it as 200 into 10 is power 6 kilopascal you can see the free body diagram for this bar okay let us assume that the reactions at a and c both are towards the right okay and at b we have um, we have at this to 8 kN and write it as a single force of 16 kN. The portion AB this is uh, 0 0.3 meter and portion BC this is 0 0.7 meter. Okay. So RA and RC these are the reactions at A and C as shown in the free body diagram. From the equilibrium of forces we can write this as RA minus 16 plus RC this is equal to 0. Or you can write it as RA plus RC. This is equal to 16. Let it be equation first. After that, I have uh, I have drawn a sectional free body diagram for this actually loaded bar in which I have taken this portion AB and portion BC separate. Okay, so reaction at um, uh, this. Uh, the reaction at this fixed support a this is ra okay and it is acting towards the right okay and um, this section i have made this section at immediate left of the b so at immediate left of the b the only force if, if ra is acting at uh, this portion a to uh, for the equilibrium force at rb this will be again ra and for this portion bc which has a length of 0 0.7 meter it it has been acting with two forces that is 8 kilonewton and 8 kilonewton which is 16 kilonewton and this ra in the opposite direction of 16 kilonewton okay if ra here is towards the left so ra at that is ra at section uh, to the immediate of b this will be in the right direction okay uh, so force uh, at uh, this portion at immediate right of b this will be 16 minus ra okay and again force at this uh, section immediate left of this c this will be 16 minus ra here i have assumed that this 16 kN this is greater than ra okay so for you can say that for the portion ab force acting is compressive and for the portion bc force acting is tensile okay for portion ab force acting is compressive that is reaction ra and for portion bc force acting is tensile and it is equal to 16 minus ra let us uh, take the elongation as elongation of the bar as positive and compression of the bar as negative so uh, since portion a b this has been acting with a force of compressive force of r a so for this portion there will be compression and for portion b c since tensile force is acting on portion b c so there will be an elongation and um, since this is a, a fixed bar okay so compression of a b plus elongation of b c this will be equal to zero okay or you can say that 
net elongation or compression for this bar is zero since it is fixed at both ends okay compression at av this will be equal to force at uh, force for portion ab which is ra multiplied by the length of the portion ab divided by ae plus uh, this elongation for the portion bc will be force in the portion bc which is 16 minus ra multiplied by the length of the portion bc which is lbc divided by ae and this compression of ab ab plus elongation of bc this will be equal to zero okay after that you have to solve this equation putting values of l a b okay so you can write as minus r a into 0 0.3 divided by 1.532 into 10 is power minus 4 into 200 into 10 is power 6 plus 16 minus r a into 0 0.7 okay length of a b this is 0 0.3 and length of b c this is 0 0.7 divided by 1.532 into 10 raised power minus 4 into 200 into 10 raised power 6 this is equal to 0 since denominator for uh, both of these uh, both of these parts is same so you can take it out as common and multiply it with 0 okay so net equation this will be minus 0 0.3 ra plus 11.2 okay 16 multiplied by 0 0.7 this is 11.2 minus 0 0.7 ra this is equal to 0 or from this you can get the value of ra as 11.2 kilo newton okay this is the value of reaction at a okay 11.2 kilo newton since this value is positive it means our assumed direction of force ra is correct okay that is ra is acting towards the right to find the value of uh, this rc you can simply put the value of this ra in equation first equation first was ra plus rc is equal to 16 okay uh, putting value of ra which is 11.2 in this equation you can get the value of rc as 16 minus 11.2 which is equal to 4.8 kilonewton again the value of rc is positive it means that our assumed direction for rc is correct that is rc is also acting towards the right okay so this is how you can find the forces uh, in a statically indeterminate actually loaded bar okay i hope this uh, solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new from this video if you still have some doubts you can write them in the comment box okay and i will be happy to answer all of them you can also watch my other videos okay related to this uh, strength of materials or other subjects of the civil engineering thanks for watching master civil engineering and stay tuned